Hello, and in this video, we are going to learn how to start page numbering from the second page. So you can see here that I have added in the page number for my document. But the problem is the page number starts from the first page and it starts at 1. And uh, usually the first page is a cover page. So we don't want the page number to appear there. We want the page number to begin from the second page, which is where the actual content begins. Technically speaking, in Word, any type of page level formatting is applied for a section, not for a page. So if you want different page numbering for different parts of the document, then we will need to separate them into different sections. So in this case, we will need to put the first page in one section and then the second page onwards in another section because we will be setting different rules for page numbering. So inserting a section break in Word is quite simple. All you need to do is to go to layout, oh, let me enlarge this, go to breaks and go to section break next page. And you can see that whenever we put our mouse cursor on the first page, then the section will be section one. But whenever we put the mouse cursor on the second page, then the section will be section two. Okay, so that is done. All we need to do is to delete the page numbering for the first page. So you can go to footer and just say remove footer okay now and then for the second page we will need to first delete the link to previous so that means that we are going to tell what that we want to set up different footer for the second section so go to footer okay and you can see that uh, now our page number will start correctly from one from the second page and there's no page numbering on the first page so this is exactly what we wanted. Let's check if it works properly. So go to three, four, five. Yep, this is good. Okay, so now all we need to do is to close the header and footer and we're back to the main document. Now another way, and I actually prefer the second method of doing this because it's less messy, is that we will first need to double click anywhere on the top or on the bottom of the page and this will activate the header and footer tools click on this option different first page and let's see what happens so you can see that the page numbering does not appear on the first page this is what we want so this is good but now we have another problem the page number doesn't appear on the first page but when it appears on the second page it starts at two now this is because the second page is still section one Technically, page numbering still starts from page one, but because we put in different first page, it, it kind of it hides the page number. It doesn't delete the page number. So in this case, what do we do? So we'll go to page number, go to format page number, and in the page numbering, instead of setting the page number to start at one, then we will just set it to zero. And let's see what happens. Okay, so nothing appears on the first page footer. But on the second page, the page number will start from 1. So yeah, this is exactly what we wanted. And now let's check if it's working properly. So page 2, page 3. Yeah, and that's done. So that's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.